Welcome to Orange Press Pass at the half. A tough start for Syracuse against the Cornell Big Red with J.D. Rachi and Nicole Weaving. I'm Adam Unger. Now, a 7-3 halftime score, and that's not great for the Orange guys. What have you seen initially so far? Well, the Orange offense is really struggling so far, Adam, and we've seen it in the fact that they look a little bit antsy. Cornell got off to a pretty good start. They scored a couple of goals in the early going, went up to a big margin, and then the offense in terms of Syracuse just kind of lost their cool, got a little antsy, weren't making clean, crisp passes, and when that happens, the Syracuse offense just isn't as good as it normally is and can't score a lot of goals and can't keep up and get back into the game. They're trying a little bit too hard. Yeah, they're definitely making mistakes on that front, and then it's also translating to poor shot placement. They've really already missed three, but really hats off as well to Kalen Bullen, their goalie for the Big Red. He has eight saves so far in this first half, really been remarkable, and it just feels like this orange, as you said, they're kind of a little bit tense. They were able to calm it down definitely a little bit in the second quarter, taking less shots, but it's not helping them still. They just need to be able to see the white around the goalie. That second quarter, not as lopsided as the first, but let's take a look at our halftime stats. You can see Cornell leading the way in ground balls and in shots, but a surprising uh, factor here is the faceoff wins being tied up. The Orange have struggled at the faceoff X all season. Nicole, what stands out most to you? I think that also, not only on like the saves factor, which I already mentioned, but with the faceoffs especially, it seemed like when Syracuse was winning them the majority of the time, they were able to move it into their offensive end, get something going pretty quickly and score that happened on two occasions so far in that first quarter. I think that Syracuse has to take advantage a little bit more of those face-off wins. You see six face-off wins today for Danny Varela, only three goals for Syracuse. And to win games, you got to score when you get the opportunity. Syracuse hasn't executed as well as it needs to, and that's because, like I said, they're a little antsy trying to force their way back into the, this game instead of just playing within themselves. Now, we have seen Syracuse force their way back into games before deficits, deficits like this. Excuse me, nothing new for the Orange. JD, what is your key to the second half? My key to the second half, Adam, is limit and stop the snowball effect. What I mean by the snowball effect is the fact that Syracuse lets opponents kind of get on a roll. We've seen it all season long. They go on rolls of two or three goals at a time. Cornell has already gone on a two, goal, uh, two different two-goal stretches and then a three-goal stretch as well, and that's been able to let them get that 7-3 lead we talked about a little bit earlier. So if Syracuse can calm themselves down, calm themselves down offensively, get some better shots, then it could translate to them stopping that snowball effect and really making this a more back-and-forth game, which is something that Syracuse needs to see. And as we mentioned, there definitely are those offensive struggles, but there are defensive ones as well. And for me, it's definitely got to be limit Cornell's passing. So far, six of their seven goals have, excuse me, five of their seven goals have been assisted in this one. And that just shows how they're able to really just move that ball quickly. And it gets the Syracuse defense really a step behind. They had two goals right on the doorstep there of Don Madonna. When you let those attackers get so close, they're going to put it right past him. He really was able to step up more in that second quarter, making more saves as we saw five saves so far in this first half but you can't leave your goalie out to dry like that you need to be able to limit the passing limit their offense from getting going then you have that snowball effect if they don't a lot of work for John Desco to do for the orange on both sides of the field that's all we've got for you on OPP at the half 7-3 lead for Cornell thus far we will be on live at 11 p.m. on the orange television network tune in for that for JD Rachi Nicole Weaving I'm Adam Unger thanks so much for watching